So a few weeks ago, William Shatner was targeted for cancellation again. You know, by the tolerant and the most loving amongst us. And while the author of the specific tweet that kicked that off says, hey, that was all sarcasm, you'll notice that this narrative, it has been going on for years. Here, for example, is something from 2016, bringing up the same argument, saying that William Shatner, he needs to be canceled. And if you look at this newest post, what you'll see here is that you have 109 retweets and comments, 305 likes. So there are people out there that are gunning for this narrative because they're always trying to take William Shatner down. Why? Because of the original Star Trek episode Powers of Force. See, apparently William Shatner, a Jewish man, should apologize for a 1968 episode of Star Trek because it might offend people. And you know what? William Shatner, he didn't agree. In fact, in instances like this, I really like watching William Shatner because he takes on his ultimate form. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to watch William Shatner wreck it. And then we're going to laugh and point our fingers at the people in the wreckage still trying to claim the man is a Yahtzee. So hey there, now I know it's not Christmas, but Santa that umbrella guy has been looking for a reason to slide down your chimney while you're alone at night. Wait, wait a minute, that sounds creepy. Let me change my clothes. So hey there, now that we reset that beginning, we put on a trench coat and even changed the setting, hanging out at the park. Wait, wait, that doesn't work. So hey there, now as far as William Shatner goes, this isn't the first time that William Shatner has been targeted on Twitter. Oh no, not even close to the first time. Here, for example, is a lovely array of screenshots, a bouquet, if you will. Aw, isn't that sweet? Put together by Data Racer in June 2019. Data Racer wrote the following, quote, Star Trek SJWs are attacking William Shatner as an old white man with no career wishing he was dead. That's actually what they're doing, too. Captain Kirk is smacking them around as weirdo triggered hive mind and says shippers are old women who send death threats to actors' wives sound just like Star Wars SJW. Now, here are the company screenshots. And I mean, man, look at the people responsible for them. They look like they would be a hot time at a party. But they say the following. Hot take. I wish Leonard Nimoy, that's who the at real Nimoy, was alive rather than Shatner. So they want Shatner to literally be the one that's dead. Or how about this, Enigma for the Age? William Shatner, do you realize that you are an old white man trying to insult young folks who have a brighter future ahead of them than you'll ever do? Than, than you'll ever do. What is this, the riddle of the Sphinx or something? Here's a lovely assortment. I love this because it's like Skittles, only you taste the rainbow of stupid. The fact that you feel threatened because I use the words white and old shows your lack of understanding of privilege and sense of humor. Live a little. Who knew one tweet calling out Shatner's privilege would lead to phobia and ism in less than 10 minutes? I understand you're a fan, but what the F is ageist? Reversed ism doesn't exist. The fact that Shatner's fans believe in reverse ism proves the fact that they're all effing idiots. Dude hasn't been relevant in ages, but look at that star power. LOL, the replies to this. I love this one here. Known worldwide, you can bet your A that if I walked down the street now and asked random people if they knew Mr. Shatner, their answer would be no. Where exactly are you living? On the freaking moon? Never heard of him until last year, so yikes, not much of an icon. Never heard of William Shatner. These are the people that want to co-opt your escapism, but they don't know about Star Trek. I feel like they just search his name to defend his honor. Such a vile old man. Yikes. Ain't that dude supposed to be dead? Ain't he like 90-ish? So having no life in such age. Isn't he like 90? So he would be more worried about other stuff. Love you, I guess talking to this person. Sadly, his attack doesn't affect me at all. I'm saddened at it. By it, I'm not mean only him, but his phobic and ist fans comments might affect somebody else, though. Please don't listen to them. 
think of them as Trump supporters and just shut your ears. <laughs> oh, man. And this stuff, it goes on and on, too. These folks are always trying to cancel William Shatner, but this newest stuff, it really takes the prize. Now, to be clear, I want to say that the person that originally posted this, they say that this is sarcasm, and I'll buy into that. This could very well be sarcasm. The problem is that people, they run with this narrative, and they want to truly cancel William Shatner. So the original post says, Does anyone think that we should demand an apology from William Shatner for wearing a Yahtzee uniform in that episode of Star Trek? Maybe make sure the offending episode is pulled forever. Someone sensitive might see it and feel oppressed, maybe. Or is Golden Girls worse than this? Now, if you look at the numbers on this statement, they can be deceptive, too. Because if you look at retweets, for example, the 74 that come with comments, many of them are hypercritical of this narrative. But the ones without it, yeah, that's where you get into trouble because many of these people actually believe that a Jewish man should be canceled for going out and being part of this program in 1968. Now, William Shatner, he responds to this as well. And I have to say that William Shatner is someone I would not want to lay the smack down on me online. So apologize for exactly what he asks. Did you see the episode? I'm a Jew who lost family in the Holocaust. The episode did not glorify that regime at all. The episode reinforced how totalitarian regimes were not welcome in the future. Are you a sympathizer with a name like that? He's talking about the original poster being David Silverman. I hope not. Now again, to be fair to the original poster, he put this out later on. Okay, so now William Shatner blocked me, and apparently few Trekkies can tell when a tweet is dripping with sarcasm. But yeah, this whole world is crazy, and maybe canceling actors for the roles they played decades ago isn't stupid enough to be laughed off as a joke anymore. Sorry, Bill. And you know what? That's right. You can't treat the idea that people are going to be canceled in a role as a joke because there are individuals out there that are taking aim daily. Here's Robert Downey Jr., for example, with people finding Tropic Thunder for the first time. And look at exactly what they say. Wait a mm, minute. You're telling me Robert Downey Jr., the Robert Downey Jr., has done blackface and defended it as part of the context of the movie? A.K.A. we need to get him fired. Wait, why did Robert Downey Jr. get a pass for doing blackface in a full-length feature film? And why am I just now finding out about it? And I think that last comment makes something very clear. Why am I just finding out about it? A.K.A. I don't know the context. I don't know what's going on. But... I'm going to be offended because you can find examples of people not knowing anything about this too everywhere online just by doing simple searches. Here's one for example. I like that the second reply to that post is a dude with a Yahtzee avatar saying you're welcome from 4chan. Good company y'all are keeping here. The person responds here, Holy cow, the avatar that you're talking about, that's William Shatner, taken from a Star Trek episode about condemning Yahtzeeism and fascism. Hmm, you really know what you're talking about there, don't you? And that's why I think we've seen a lot of this stuff coming up again and again and again. But the problem is, in 2020, oh yeah, cancel culture, this, it might actually do your career in. I mean, 2016, somebody posting this picture just finding it, going effing Christ, they don't get any traction. But now they get hundreds of likes, hundreds of retweets with people actually taking that seriously. I think these posts, they really point out what's frightening in this day and age too, because you can see who was in those. And while William Shatner, he's hard to cancel, but still somebody might try. It's strange to think of this being made only 20-something years after the Holocaust, and really weird to see two Jewish actors Shatner and Nimoy in Nazi uniforms. So here you do have some way to deflect against it. You have Jewish actors. You have this made years after the Holocaust. So you can say that this is a statement against. And still people will try to cancel them. Well, what does that mean for people that don't have some deflection point? They don't have some identity cue. They said something or they did something and people 
people, they want to cancel them for it. See, that's why I like people like William Shatner, because at the end of the day, that guy, he stands up. He doesn't take anything from people like this. He will not let people cancel him. And that's important, because if you stand around and you apologize for things, you want to pretend that that was another time and another age, well, you don't just open the door for your cancellation. You open the door for other people's cancellation as well. And William Shatner, well, he doesn't do that. So props to him. I mean, kudos. And kudos to Star Trek, too. If you don't know about that show, I mean, the original series, that was a trailblazer, an absolute pioneer that took on culturally relevant subjects that looked at things that were socially taboo, and it actually smacked them in its proverbial mouth. You had interracial kiss. You had things like this, and on and on. And the people that are commenting about that, wanting to cancel it, they have no idea what they're talking about. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this. And isn't it interesting, William Shatner, yet again in the crosshairs. Now, to close this out, I want to thank you for being here, and I want to ask you to check out our comic book. This, 40 Pages of All Ages, Lovecraft and Goodness, it's a great product. And because we talk about the subjects we do, yeah, we don't get into love from the mainstream. But that's okay. We don't need those folks. We need you. So check that out if you like it, back it, and thank you in advance.